What's up guys and welcome to the 11th video in the C Sharp tutorial series. So the last video we went over how to work with arrays in C Sharp and just got a little more acquainted with them. And this video is just going to be a, a quick one just demonstrating on how to another great way to iterate over an array. Okay, so that's uh, actually probably specific to C Sharp which is why I want to show you. So say if we had an array and and let's just to keep it simple, we'll make it an a static array of integer types. We'll call it test array like we did in the last video. And then we're gonna actually initialize it with some values here, okay? And then we'll we'll give it some values like two through ten. Alright. So the way to iterate it through in a common way is to use a for loop, which we went over in the last video. And that's perfectly fine. So let's go ahead and demonstrate that real quick. We'll use the length property and then we'll do I plus plus. And then we'll actually just write to the console each value and we'll two string it. So now let's go ahead and see what happens. And you probably guessed that it. it's actually going to go two, three, four, all the way to 10. So that's like the, the easy way to just to iterate through an array. And then inside of the block is where we do whatever we want to do. All right. So C sharp allows us to actually iterate through an array in an I enumerable kind of way. Since, uh, you know, if you haven't worked with lists yet, we will soon. But if you have worked with lists, you'll know what I'm talking about when you use like the for each uh, method, which you cannot use a for each method on an array. But you can use the for each method inside of the array class. So this is the array class. And then inside of it is a static method called for each. All right. And let's no, let's let's take a look at this IntelliSense real quick. We see that we're using templates, uh, which are generics. All right. So we're not going to go into generics right now, but we will here in, in the future the tutorial, tutorial series. But just to get the overview of what's going on, basically whatever whatever type we pass into these little brackets right here, the less than or less than or greater than is what brackets or what I like to call them. Whatever we pass into it here this t will take on that same type okay so it'll say oh, okay then so notice that they're all t t t right here over here where it says action now notice if i pass an int and then i call upon the method it takes all of those and now it turns them into int 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 so it just acts like a template if i were it could do the same thing for like you know if i were to use a double 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 and you know something like a float 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 so you get the idea it takes whatever we put into those and it says okay well then you better give me a value of uh, an array that holds integer types and that's exactly what we want to get it because we have an array that holds integers right so it says okay well give me an array that holds integers all right so we'll pass the test array now here's this one this this might be a little confusing at first is action int action when we haven't gone over actions, of course, too, but we will. And I know I keep saying that, but <laughs> but just for the sake of brevity, let's kind of just brush over them. Now, an action is just something that can take in about 16 parameters, actually. And this one only takes in one. So an action is like a method. And it's a special kind of method. And it's a generic, de it's a generic delegate that can basically be called. And, you know, in, in simple terms or, or in English, it's just, just basically it's, it's a method that, that you specify what to do with it, all right? So this is saying, okay, well, you have a test array. Now, I am going to pass you an integer. And I'm going to pass you an integer because, remember, our test array is an, is an element or an a, a array that holds integer elements. And basically, it wants you to, it, what do you want to do over each iteration of, of an element inside of the, the test array, okay? So there's, remember, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine elements. So this method will be called nine times for each element. So then what we can do, we can call this whatever we want. We, we'll call it element, elem. And then we'll do the equal, the right arrow. And now elem is the, is the first element and the second, the third, and so on. So notice that we have int element. Okay. So then we, what we can do now is print it out, which is exactly what we did in that for loop. just like that. All right. So 
if you want to make it a little more clear, what we can do as soon as it stops fighting me. All right. So now anything inside of this of these brackets will execute just like anything inside of these brackets will execute. All right. So this is basically just an anonymous method that we're using that will basically iterate through like this will be test array 0 1 2 3 as far as this will be lm will be the zeroth index the first index the second. So this lm value will take on whatever is appropriate. It will take on the 2, it will take on the 3, the 4 and it will iterate uh, this method and execute this method over each element inside of the test array. All right. And notice that this int, remember when it said action right here, action int. And that's because this is the int that it's talking about. Now, if it said int comma int, then we would do lm lm2 because we know that it takes in two integers. All right. So these are kind of just like the parameters that this anonymous method takes in. And we can also do something like this that may make it a little more clear. So this is like the parameters that any method takes in, like how, how this method takes in a string array of ar uh, named args. This is the parameters, and then this is the body. All right, so it's just a really convenient way to actually, just a little cleaner way, especially when you have a little line like that, like we did in the beginning, where you don't, you could just omit these really. And you can even omit this. And once you start using C sharp, you'll start getting used to this kind of uh, syntactic sugar. I will, if I if I can say that. <laughs> so uh, syntactic sugar, yeah. Uh, so that's that's just a clean way to do it, and it will do exactly what this does. So if we get rid of this code, all right. Notice that it does exactly what we want it to do. All right. So there you go, guys. I mean, and and. Once you start using the for each method is that's when we start getting into some cool stuff And it's really cool stuff like this with C sharp that really will start to differentiate So I wanted to show you guys this because of the fact that these first last 10 tutorials have been probably If you come from Java or C++, they probably haven't really differed very much and um, Stuff like this is what really sets C sharp apart from other languages because you get really clean ways to do things and At first it might be kind of confusing, but the more and more you go on you the more and more at least for myself is when you'll start using stuff like this and you'll start using you know um, link which is really cool if you haven't heard of that um, and this is really other stuff that are, are specific to C sharp so something like this is something I wanted to show you that you know we'll, we'll start to get the feel of, of C sharp and and why it is a very popular language and and uh, and all that so that's what I'm trying to say is uh, don't give up on me that I <laughs> I will show you you know little cool things about C sharp as we progress but at first we, of course we need to get through some of the basic stuff and once we get into the intermediate stuff and you guys start to become comfortable with a C sharp and a more advanced level is when you really start to see it shine all right guys so there it is the array dot for each method that you can be that can iterate over uh, array of whatever type that you give it here all right as always thanks for watching guys